I'm starting this special edition for Jordan Peterson. I had written the book Watch Stand Pray 365 for his audience, but it wasn't really an audience, so I called them enthusiasts, and there's a whole funny story about that with Seiko, my buddy. And it, it is interesting, though, because you're like, what, what aren't, Jordan doesn't have a show, so he doesn't really have an audience. He doesn't have followers because he's not necessarily a teacher. Like, what is it? There's a lot of stuff that's aloof with Jordan. So I call them enthusiasts. That's my cute little thing. It's sort of a running gag. What do you call Jordan's audience? So make sure you make jokes and laugh about it, okay? Make sure. Now, I had finished this book, Watch and Pray Through 65. It was inspired by people who kept telling me I'd had to check out this Jordan Peterson guy. And I just hadn't had time in my busy life. And, but I wanted to write a devotional, so I wrote it for those guys. I didn't want to listen to Jordan Peterson. I happened to stumble upon this Charisma on Command guy doing an analysis of Jordan's famous interview. But that was, that was it. I didn't even watch the interview uncut. It was, it was only that guy's analysis. And I did, because I did not want to have too much Jordan influence when I was writing a book to contribute something new to his enthusiasts. So I finished the book finally, 133,000 words. I mean, 365 words each, 365 times 365. It was a headache. I wrote it in 3.65 months. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. It's finally available in paperback, done. And I'm checking out Jordan Peterson and his talks and stuff. So I'm watching this debate between him and Sam Harris and there are just so many things wrong with it. I later find out, my friend says, you know, Jordan said that he wasn't so pleased with that debate. I asked my friend, did Jordan say that he was wrong about his level of Bible knowledge? My friend said, no. I said, well, that's one of my big problems. So I, I'm glad Jordan recognizes that there's room for improvement. Uh, I mean, that makes him human and smart. I think I know how. For one, I think if they had watched my Symposium Prerequisite podcast, you can look it up at jesse.coffee, click on the Taiwan special thing, or go to jesse.coffee slash ts, like dot, dot com dot coffee, and, and you'll see the Symposium Prerequisite, YouTube and SoundCloud. It has an audio version for busy people. That's fine. I think that if Jordan and Sam had been familiar with my Symposium Prerequisite talk, that their debate might have gone better. And so I'm inviting... Jordan Peterson and Sam Harris to get on the webcam and talk with me again. We have another conversation, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to up the skill level. I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to super up the skill level as far as debate stuff goes. And I'm not gonna tolerate mutinies on style. If they want to mutiny me, if we're doing a time format thing, and they want to do a mutiny and control their own time, I'll let them. But I'm not. I will hit the mute button if they get off a of format. I just want. They're, they, these are smart people. And I just don't think anyone's taken the time with them to go through good format. I mean, when you're in a courtroom, you've got to present your argument, your, your, like your conclusion first, and then talk about your reasons why. And you're expected to do that. I, in, a form, in an informal hearing, I had a judge tell me to, to, to hush up and say what my point was. And it, it, because I was presenting my case the way Jordan presents his cases, he goes and, and he, he, he makes his arguments first, then he comes to a conclusion at the end, and Sam even calls him out on it. He said, I'm waiting to see when you're going with this. Now, that's a problem that I have with format. With Jordan, with Sam, the problem is that, that I have is that he doesn't present any argument at all. He just presents his conclusion and says that it's universal and in consensus and everyone should agree with him already. What's your problem? And, and I'm like, no, if it is obvious, then you're supposed to be the awesome debater and go through the work and tell us what's obvious to you. Like that's part of just doing your work and saying, well, it should be. That's, that's a cop out. That's a, that's a cheap, lazy way of not having to do your work as a debater. If you're in a debate, you're supposed to convince all the stupid idiots in the crowd why they should agree with what's so obvious to you. If it's obvious to you, you should be able to explain why. And not in an insulting, demeaning way. Well, aren't you smart? You're stupid, aren't you? You're maybe that's why you can't see. That's not a reason why they should believe you. You're supposed to go through and convince them and make them glad that you were talking to them and convincing them, not make them feel bad about your reasons. And, and so... I, I really would like to see Sam do that better, and I would coach him through that gently. I wouldn't throw him up against the wall for it. So these are two issues. Now, there's also the question of Jordan answering the billions and billions of permutations on how we're going to phrase the same question, is Jordan Peterson a Christian who's trying to proselytize everyone? And I, I think Jordan's issue is he wants more critical thinkers. And we've got too many people who want to just ask What's your label? Oh, you're Christian? Good. I don't have to think anymore. I know all about you. Ah.
uh, that's what's wrong with the world. We label people and we have other people tell us what the Bible or whatever book says, what the constitution means. And we need people who are going to look at those things and understand it for themselves. And I don't think Jordan wants to, to cheapen that. Besides, he's not, he doesn't have a Bible background. Now me, I, 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 I'm a Christian. And I think that if you're a Christian, you shouldn't say so. Now figure out how I didn't contradict myself. If you can't figure that out, and you don't know how to interpret literature, I'll be happy to I'll be happy to answer you on that. Don't worry, I'll come back around to it. I promise. But generally speaking, I think that it's good that Christians don't say that they're Christians, and and let it be known by their works. As Jesus said, "You shall know them by their fruit." All right, enough of that. The content portion, the different type of objectors, form I just explained, and then there's the content type of objection that, that I have. And I'm going to get into that later. So the first video I go through the form. It's like, look, look at Jordan's communication style. Look at Sam's communication style. See their communication style? Okay. Then we go back and watch a lot of the same stuff again. We talk about the content and that I've already got about an hour and I'm going to chop that up into smaller bits and pieces. I think that both of them could know their Bible more. I think they could talk about slavery a lot more. And uh, there's just a lot of information in that particular segment. It was, it was just in that first hour. Now, not, not once it left less an hour in their debate in Van, Vancouver, uh, I, I kind of I was more interested in have so many issues. But I'm going to go through that content later. So first, it's this 33 minute some or so video that explains the format, and then I'm going to go up into small bite sized videos for a lot of the topics on the content of that debate. And sometimes I'm going to be explaining. Uh, what happens in the debate, showing you footage, my immediate reaction to it. Other times, I'm just going to do my own video on the topic that I think could have been done better or included in, in the debate. I invite Jordan and Sam to come onto my podcast via webcam. They've got to watch the symposium prerequisite first or listen to it on SoundCloud while they're traveling is fine. But we got standards. I invite them to come on, debate each other. I'll monitor format, debate me when it comes to that content. If you guys are men enough to do it.